Crackberry.com. Hey everyone, DJ here from Crackberry.com and we are looking at the WorkWide app available for the BlackBerry Passport. Um, it's been out for a week already and we posted about it, but we're going to take a hands-on look at it just to show you how awesome it is. Um, now this is it, if you open it, um, and this is its default screen, when you do open it for the very, very first time, you do get a kind of welcome um, screen and a kind of uh, a tour of the app here, and you can always go back to it as I showed you through uh, the info that you can get from the top there um, but this is it by default so you have the browser window and the composer window um, open by default so you can just start you know type away a message um, if you want to load up a website just type it in there um, if you wanted to display other apps just hit the menu icon there the center middle and you can change to the different apps you can see you can have the browser which is selected by default calculator uh, this is the picture viewer and this is the text viewer. So de text for like documents, um, Excel files, PowerPoints, PDFs, um, that's what you can do. The only problem with the text viewer is that um, they open full screen because it does use docs to go to view it. So it will open um, full screen, but I'll get back to that. So I'm just going to go back to browser. And so once you've you know, selected the apps you want to display, just hit done. But you'll also see here in the center, the slider will adjust the screen. You can see it in the background there. If you wanted to make something a bit bigger, you could do that or just have it in the center. And this icon here switches them around for your preference. I kind of like it this way. And once you're all done with that, just hit done. Um, just looking at a few other things here in the composer window. This is to open anything else you've saved. You can see the option here, save, and that's what it will just automatically save the state um, of your your kind of, you know, scenario here. Um, and if, I'll just open one of the apps I've got here. Um, something I've saved previously, it will also automatically open the app or the browser that you were in at that time. Um, this is a share option, which makes use of the native um, BlackBerry share function and this one is actually to go ahead and send it um, as an email. Now I've just opened this up here and I'm going to demonstrate to you uh, so you can, I can make that bigger if I wanted to. Now so this is the post we originally had on the WorkWide app um, so I've said you know hey guys check out this really awesome utility app I can tick this checkbox here which is an attachment which means it will include whatever's on here it will include this link. If it was in the picture viewer or even in the file, it will include that as well. Uh, this option here is to copy to clipboard. So, you know, if, if you typed a lot of things, um, you wanted to paste it um, somewhere else, you can you can do that. Um, but from here, if I want to send this as an email, I just tap send and it opens the actual native composer window for BlackBerry 10. And I can go ahead and type in who I want to send it to. And you can see the link has been added right there. If I just open up one of the other ones I had um, for a file. Okay, so that was a, you know, a bus timetable. I need to share the bus timetable. Here's the bus timetable. Again, share. Oh, I didn't click the... If I tap this and send, there is the timetable added. So it works with, um, you know, photos as well. Now you can see here the return to dock. This will make me go back and view it. Um, unfortunately, it can't do split screen with that, but it's very easy to go back and forth. You can see I can type. If I needed to refer to it again, just do that. Have a look at the document, slide back, type, um, and all the rest. Um, so that is pretty cool. This one is with a photo. Um, again, I want to attach it. I can do that and send. And again, it will be attached. So, um, like I said, you can share as well. So if I go back to the link um, and I want to share, I'm just going to share it to myself. I want to share it with someone by, via BBM. Oh, I keep forgetting to hit. Always remember to tick the box and then the link is added so I can kind of send that and there we go. Um, with documents and, and Far, you know, photos, they don't attach to BBM though. Um, just to show you, 
it doesn't uh, attach to it. So it will only attach to emails. Um, but that is, you know, that's the picture viewer. You can, you know, add another picture uh, and whatnot, talk about it, send it as well. Uh, but like I said, it doesn't share to other things other than um, through email if it's a file or a photo. There you go. So if I just go back to that, it kind of remembers the last place you were if you do load it as well. Um, you can automatically clear what's in the message and you know type it out again. I find this very useful for you know if I want to share something to BBM channels. Uh, I normally refer to a post, type out briefly what it's about. I can um, you can type it out here and then share to BBM channels and also include the link and it's all there and I can you know just post that up to BBM channels. I've even found a use for loading up two cal calculators here. I take uh, business accounting. I have a business accounting class and you know having two cal calculators out is actually pretty um, useful. So I found uses for even displaying two uh, two calculators on screen. Um, so that is a look at the WorkWide app for the BlackBerry Passport, just available for, available for the BlackBerry Passport to utilize that this beautiful big screen, split screen, and you can see uh, the, uh, the use for it. It really does come in handy. If you don't think you need it, download it anyway and try it out. You'll, you'll find uses for it that you never knew um, you needed it for. So that's the WorkWide app available for the BlackBerry Passport. Get it from Blackberry World today for $2.99.